Now we will do the form validation where we will check if the user leave any text field empty or also the password and other, uh, other validation we will do for example the password length if the email is correct or not so for that purpose let's call here a method which we will implement now and that will be sign of form validation sign of form validation let's implement this method down here the first thing that we will check is the user name so we can say if username text setting controller dot text the text which the user write in the username text field we will get that we will remove extra spaces from it okay dot trim simply means that remove the extra space and we will check the length of it if the length of the username is uh, less than four or in simple words you can say that four or more characters the user has to type so here we will write three which simply means that this two must be four okay that is the characters which the user will write in the username text field it must be four or greater than four okay so as I told you the advantage of using the reusable code is now whenever we need any method from this common methods of course in future we will implement further new methods so for example currently we have check connectivity and display snack bar so now this method we need so we don't need to just copy paste this method or just copy paste this code again and again we just need to call this method and pass the message text to it how like this for example we will say C methods dot display snack bar that's it all you need to type here the message so it will be your name must be at least four or more characters and the second parameter you know is the context of our sign up screen from where we are calling this method so that's it just we have to call that method directly then the next condition that we will check is basically it will be to check to check about the let's copy paste it here to check about the user phone if the user phone the, I mean the user phone numbers or you can say the character which the user will type about his or her phone number it must be at or greater than at so we can say seven okay that is these characters must be at or greater than at so you can just change this to at okay and then of course the next one we have is for the email if the email email dot text dot contains at the red sign okay we will check if the email does not contain so add this exclamation mark which simply means not this is not operator if the email does not contain at the red sign then we will just tell to the user please write where is email and then of course the last one will be about the password that is the password which the user will type it must be six or more than six characters and else that is if the form is successfully or you can say completely filled correctly then we will simply uh, register the user or you can say sign up the user so now let's just test the application to see if it is working or not so now if you go to the registration page if we without filling the form if we click the sign up then it will execute the first if statement which is about the uh, username you see your name must be at least four characters so now if we write the username for example Muhammad Ali and then let's say I type the phone number just five uh, four or five characters that is you know that it must be eight or more than eight characters so I just write uh, five characters now if I click on the sign up it will show me the error your name must be your phone number okay as you know this is phone number so we can say your 
your phone number must be at least eight or more than eight character okay so it must show that your phone number must be at least eight or more characters so you can just type the email on the phone number completely eight or more than eight characters and then of course the email if I write for example aligmail.com which is a wrong, f uh, wrong format for an email so it will show me please write valid email so I have to provide the valid email like this okay and then the password if I write only four characters and I click sign up it will say your password must be at least six or more characters so you have to write either six or greater than six characters for a password so you see now it is working